friends. Most of the time, you could barely distinguish me from the other residents. I wore the same drab, ready-made clothes they wore. I went to work and returned with the same regularity. And my days flowed one into the other like a stream of time. Except Friday. Friday was different. Each minute of Friday had its own identity. And only on Friday was I really alive. like every other day, even to the remarks about the weather. But I remember wondering often what my neighbors would think if they knew what Friday meant to me. And of what my employer would think if he knew of the appointment I kept every Friday at 5.30.
Excuse me, madam. I was able to get a copy of the tap the other day at the stand at the corner of Marinstrasse. Thank you very much. I shall try there. Oh, allow me. off as usual. I contacted Froelich. I didn't recognize the man at the newsstand. He's new. Oh. You'd better sit down. You look as though you need to. Yeah. I'm always tired afterwards. And today I was worried. More so than usual. What is it, Natalie? No? Might call it heart, Terry. I'm in love. So? So. And he wants to marry me. He's a German. Are you sure he's all right? Don't worry, Harry, he's all right. He hates this regime as much as you and I. And do you want to marry him? Yes, Harry, I do. You know you'll have to give all this up if you do. I won't. To. If I'm caught, they'll arrest every German I know as a matter of course. I shouldn't have taken this long to make up my mind. I want to quit, Harry. Now. After all these years. After all these years. What's kept you in it this long, Natalie? It hasn't been money, certainly, or glamour, or any of the nobler things. It's the thrill, the excitement. It's what holds all of us. Isn't that true? Was well, true once. You left this once before for the same reason. Why didn't that marriage work, Natalie? It's because you missed the excitement. You were bored. All right, I was bored. I was 25 then. I'm much older now. I love him, Harry. This will work out. I know it will. You'll have to give me a chance to find someone to replace you. Of course. Well, aren't you going to wish me luck? Oh, my dear. You know I want you to get out of this, really, because I'm so fond of you. It's no career for a woman, or for anyone, for that matter. But I don't think you will. This business has a way of not letting you. Make an excuse you cannot see me on Friday. You think I meet someone else on Friday? I do not want to think it, Natalie. It's only that I'm tired on Friday after working all week. Oh, don't you do believe me? No, I don't believe you. <laughs> what is it? Nothing. You look so funny. It's not polite in England for a man to wipe his forehead if he's hot. I read an adventure. An innocent man used that as a signal. Wiping his forehead that he's changed. It meant danger that 
it being watched. Yeah, in the book it may mean that. <laughs> if I do it, it means I'm work in career. Yes, Hans. You thought about the police? Yes. Why should the police be after you? It doesn't matter. It does matter. What were you doing? How did you get here, Hans? I followed you from the office. I had to know, Natalie, if you were meeting someone else. For a moment, I thought... Hans, you can't talk here. It's too dangerous. I'll explain everything when we get back to the apartment, but not here. You don't have to explain. I'm not a fool, Natalie. You... You are a spy, aren't you? Time you have been lying to me about everything. Now, when I said I loved you, Hans, that was the truth. I could lie to you now. I could say they forced me to stay in, but I won't. I was free to leave any time I wanted to. But all the things that you think are dreadful, the risk, the danger, they are what hold you to it. It's like a drug. And you cannot give it up. Even for me, is that it? But I have given it up. I've already told them. Today was my last time. And you will not regret it? No, darling, never. Oh, then that's all that matters. <laughs> when will you marry me? Any time you say. Hans, I'm almost glad it happened. <laughs> now you know. And I'm just thinking that all of this, you being a spy, seems less terrible to me than if you had been meeting in some other man. Hans, yes. how could we be married in Germany? We'd never be safe living in Berlin. No, we must not stay here. You know, I have no sympathy with what is going on in my country today. I will ask my firm to transfer me to England. Yes, yes, it will work out, you will see. We mustn't waste time. If they got frolic, they may find me. Yes, you must leave tomorrow, and I'll follow you in a few days. No, no, I don't want to leave without you. We'll leave together on Monday. <laughs> No, we 
we thought for a while the messenger boy might have to leave too. But I understand he's quite well again. Yes, she's definitely leaving. Well, breaking in a new secretary is always something of a chore. The business has been so quiet, I shall train her myself. Everything is ready. In two hours we leave. Passport, ticket, everything. Oh, you better give me your passport too. From now on, you'll just be a wife. All right. You better take my money too. Everything packed? Oh, I've been packed for hours. Funny, once I couldn't bear the thought of leaving here. Now I can't wait. I was never nervous until I met you. I didn't have anything to lose until then. <laughs> There's a door in the kitchen that leads out the back way. I'll answer it. No, no. The only way you can help me is to get away. You can hear if you stay by the door. Miss McLaren, I'm Frau Freulich. Come in. It's all right. They just arrested my husband. Oh, no. Uh. They let him go away on Friday. But they followed him. They wanted to see if he would go to somewhere else. So they will arrest him too. Then they must have followed you here. No. I hid until they were gone. I begged my husband to give it up. But he wouldn't listen to me. This work takes away everything. Your nerves, your soul, your life. Why is it like this? You're in it too. Why can't anyone give it up? Tell me, Mrs. Relic, why did you come here? Only because I promised my husband I will. She said, I must tell you to warn the man you are working with. Of course. Someone must warn Harry. No, Natalie. You're out of it. Oh, You're staying out of it. No, Aunt, don't you understand? I must. Mrs. Freule can stay here. I'll be back in less than an hour. I'll go with you. No, no. You wait here. This is the last time I'll ever go anywhere alone. anyone in my life. You won't when you hear what I've come to tell you. They got Froelich. I know, and I just had word that they were on their way to your apartment to arrest you. I didn't even have a chance to warn you. No, no. We'll get you out of the country tomorrow. Hans, he's there. He's waiting for me. Hans? If they find him with my money and my passport, we must get him out of there. It's too late, Natalie. No, no, there may be time. We may be able to get there before the police. We can't, Natalie. I know we can't. I don't care. I don't care. Do you think I'm going to stay here and let him go under without trying to save him? We can do. But he's innocent, Harry. He's innocent. There's nothing we can do. Oh, no. Oh, no. Harry was right. There was nothing I could do. Nothing anyone could do to save him. But whenever I close my eyes, 
I can still see them leading Hans away. was right about something else, too. story will be Mutiny Below, a story of murder and terror on the high seas. Mutiny Below, starring Eddie Albert, another story well calculated to keep you in suspense. Also, be sure to listen to Suspense each Monday night on your radio. Miss Painter's Coats by Harry Williams, Hats by John Fredericks. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to remind you that this is National YMCA Week. All over the world, countless YMCAs serve more than three and one half million young people, and they need volunteer leaders. Why don't you stop in at the YMCA in your community? Perhaps you can be of service to the Y. Tuesday night thrills, danger on the CBS television network. <laughs>